Well, it looks like I'm back. It looks like we have a very interesting situation with Apex Legends. So buckle up as I tap into my rice hat powers to just explain this entire situation. So if you didn't know, last weekend was the ALGS or the Apex Legends uh, Global Series. And this is where the best of the best all over the world comes to compete on Apex Legends to see who is the best team and who are the best players. But unfortunately, this ended up happening. What? What? Like, here. I'm on ping. I knocked him there. Yep. Like Wait. Wait, what the f what the fuck? Hacked. Don't worry about it. Don't worry I'm getting about hacked. It. I'm getting hacked. Bro. I know, I know. It's sure. Can you play the game? Bro, I I'm getting hacked. I know, but can you play? Can you play? Yeah, but it, I'm ch it's cheating. The fuck? I know, I know. Just sure. I know, I know. No. What? Like what? No, but is what? it fucking up your game? Yes, I can see everyone. Like I'm. You need to leave. You need to leave. You need to leave. I, I need to leave the game, right? Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. It's like, what the f? Admin's now. Nick, admin's now. Nick, admin's but, now. Admin's I, I left. Now. I left. Like, admin's now. Now, what it looks like is another pro player got caught cheating again. But that's not really the case. In fact, he didn't cheat. Here, let me go ahead and show you as to why he didn't cheat and how I'm making this claim. Now, if you look to the side of his screen, you all of a sudden see a bunch of messages pop up and the cheat menu. Now, this normally does not happen. And look as to what you're reading here. Someone by the name of Destroyer2009 went ahead and took control of this guy's PC. And there's a reason why I'm making this claim here. If you can see the chat it shows the player's gamer tag and then the chat typed out the reason this is so important to note is because of the fact that it is being sent on the side of the person who's playing the game meaning the person that got affected by this had just gotten hacked in the middle of the game which is insane to go ahead and say and it has a lot of implications but i'll break that down in a second it wasn't just him two other players also got hacked during the entire global event so the question is how did this happen first off let me go ahead and set up a couple of points RCE or remote code execution. What is it? Why is it dangerous? Who has the vulnerability and what should be done? Let's focus on what is it? Simply put, RCE or remote code execution is a software bug. It's basically a vulnerability that allows you to remote into like a device, for example, and lets you do whatever you want to it. Now the attacker in question went ahead and said that he did use a RCE, which I find questionable why everyone wants to believe what he has to say. And I'll go ahead and break down why I don't think it's an RCE later in this video. But for now, everyone is freaking out about RCE. So this is basically what it is. And people are speculating that the RCE attack could have been on the client side for Apex. Basically, it would be the game itself that had an RCE attack or it was easy anti-cheat that got compromised in this. Now, why is it dangerous? The reason it's so dangerous is because RCE can go ahead and install backdoors rats, ransomware, any kind of malicious software onto your system and it could be very damaging. It can also take all of your information, all of your passwords. You're basically screwed in a sense. Now who has the vulnerability? Now some people on Twitter and some content creators went ahead and speculated that RCE could be affecting Apex or the easy anti-cheat and unfortunately there are a lot of problems with either one of those statements. Now the main questions you should be asking is if it was Apex then why only only three players why weren't the other players affected and mind you with that extension why aren't almost all apex players that are playing at that moment affected and if it was eac that had rce then why is only apex affected why didn't it affect the other games how are other users not you know reporting any issues on their end the likely scenario in all of this is that rce is not the problem here in fact it's completely different like think about it for a second we would have to be talking about compromised machines within the Apex office or compromised machine within the EAC office. And with that being said, it should have affected a large user base and that would have hit everyone or almost everyone. It's not possible for an RCE to just selectively attack people because that's not in its nature. This is why I believed it wasn't RCE to begin with. In fact, I believe there was a different set of events that happened here. It is likely, and this is the more possible way that this could have happened. Somehow, the hacker went ahead and social engineered a way to trick all three users into downloading some kind of malicious file so he could gain access to their systems and then install these cheats and make them run during the match so he can gain notoriety hey so this is post-production me and i guess i was right here just take a look at this video i think there was direct access to your machine yeah, do, on the on the link you posted did i have to click on that or is it just a number at the end of the link that, that you can just click on it yeah you can click on it to pull this up to see exactly what that is yep 
So I'm going to pull this up now because we can f confirm that this is the, the case, right? Oh, no, give me one second. Uh, sure. Can we get a, a screenshot of this directly from the VOD instead of a, a cropped one, if you have that? Not you, the the person who sent it to me. It's uh, Firkin. Firkin yeah, sent me this. Yeah, this is definitely not mine. Yeah, Firkin, can you send me that from with the, the full screen so we can have it in full context? Thank you. Yeah. Digital Ocean. So, <laughs> that's Windows RPC. This, yeah, this is all starting to align, dude. This looks like direct access to the machine. Well, how would he get, gain access directly to the machine? Trojan would be the way. Whether through the client or through a download that you did, we don't know. You think that he could have done it through the packs that he gifted us? That I don't know. Okay. That would be another different method, right? So we, we've got an unknown here. How did he get it on your machine? Yeah. This is why you should be very careful with what information you put out. And going ahead and believing the hacker without any kind of proof is insane. Imagine if a murderer went ahead and said like, hey, I unalive this person by, I don't know, hitting them a couple of times. And the murder weapon was completely different. How would you believe that? You would just go ahead and go through a chain of evidence to go ahead and make sure, oh, is he telling the truth? Same thing with hackers. You don't know what their intent was to begin with. Even if you did, how are you so sure they're telling you the truth? And to them, report random assumptions that don't help anyone you're not doing a service to anyone you're just causing mass panic and random theories to fly and i honestly believe that we're dealing with some sort of malware somehow getting onto their systems like i don't know somehow like a trojan i guess should be on their uh, system not an rce and with that being said i believe that people should investigate their personal systems first to see if it was solely their systems targeted versus you know apex and eac if we find that their systems were targeted then a lot of people can breathe a little bit easier but then the question remains how did it get onto their systems? If that's not the case, we then have to look at how did this hacker go ahead and do what he did? Because I still believe it's not RCE and it has to be something else that he's using or someone within these companies are doing some malicious stuff behind the scenes that the company execs or the people in charge don't know yet. As for what should be done, we have to go ahead and allow a lot of these people who are dealing with cybersecurity related matters to investigate further, to really figure out what's going on here. Jumping to assumptions is not going to help anyone. And honestly speaking, until this situation is resolved, people should just be patient and wait to see what updates come out. Well, that's basically it, guys. If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, dislike it if you dislike it. And practically speaking, I think we have a huge situation on our hands.